You are listening to the Cigar Noise Boys. 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 Break me down. You got a lovely face. We're going to your place. And now you got to freak me out. Friends for the man. No, scream so loud, getting fucking laid. You want this me to is, stay? I wouldn't listen to a song with that type of language. But I got to make my way. Hey, <laughs> you're a crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. I'm on top of it. When I dream, I'm doing you all night. I don't want to add this to the Spotify list. <laughs> scratches all down my back to what keep you right on. It's a buck cherry crazy bitch. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you don't have to add it to the list, but that that's that that's the song we that was chosen. Um I get a lot of uh uh that kind of vibe. If you look it up, it's like the like one of the most like trashiest bands ever. In fact, they did a Tosh they <laughs> Tosh Barno did a kind of a special about uh a couple that got married to that song. Like that was like their song was crazy bitch. But when mm-hmm. I was in Orlando and Deltona over the weekend last week i got a lot of like crazy bitch like this is central florida like vibes but so uh do you think the band itself is trashy or just people who like the band are trashy i would say the people who like the band are trashier than the band yeah yeah i don't even know the band but that that makes sense to me look them up buck cherry <clears throat> uh shout out to our sponsor cigar noise dave west posting all the things on small batch cigar did you see last week's the uh, <clears throat> Le Potassier? Yeah, Ben liked it, right? I think she did. Yeah, I think she said box. There was a fiver. I think she said and fiver. And yeah, you and Rich didn't like it. Yeah. But dude, I smoked that at the shop a week before. Completely mm. different experience. Did you know what it was? No, it was blind. I went at the shop. No, motherfucker. Like when you picked it up, did you look at it and recognize it looked a, way lighter to me? Because a Connecticut broadleaf fucking Lancero, it's not like you see those laying around every day. So I thought maybe you could No, I'm not I didn't read into it. I try to ever, empty my mind. Do you smell the foot? Do you drive? Oh, good question. I don't really smell the foot and I don't like commenting on the pre light. Because I think that's stupid. Unless it stands out to me. What, what sucks is like, if you get a, a really dank smelling cigar that smells like like straight up fertilizer and earth, it usually doesn't taste good. Um, I kind of like a lot of times too, like you smell barbecue. It's like, damn, it smells like fucking fantastic. You eat it, it's good, but it, you expect, I wish it tasted half as good as it smelled sometimes. Mm, the coffee. If you had to yeah, exactly. I love the smell of coffee. The moment you roast those fuckers, I don't like it anymore. Good, 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 good. Should we tell them who we are? What's up, everybody? Cigar Noise Boys. Yeah, Tyler <laughs> like and that. Dom. Yeah, there you go. I was going to save uh, space for our second sponsor, but we're on edit number five now, I think. Yeah. Uh, Coming. Coming down the tracks. I wanted to, like, finalize it in Deltona, but... um. My plane uh, circled for 45 minutes and uh, you were there for pleasure, not business. Well, I was there for business pleasure and then more Uh, business, more pleasure. Um, I wanted to get the contract done while I was down there, do a picture of us shaking hands, maybe like a ribbon cutting scenario. Mm -hmm. Um, Instead, I left my $30 Yeti uh, cup. It's like a a Yeti, like, you don't pour your drink in it. You put your drink in it. So it keeps my mind. Yeah, it's a Yeti koozie, but like $30 and not made of space technology, not foam. I left that in BDP's car. I Hmm. think uh, Mikey's going to take it now, Hustler. Um, But yeah, I wanted to get it done, and uh, I didn't get it done because uh mm-hmm. i was late my flight was late and then mike was late so how was that a uh, event and like can you compare it to something i've been to 
So I've been to trade shows and Weasel Fest and just shop events. Where is it kind of lying? Those. Yeah. Just like got picks with uh, Fury. Yeah. Well, let's let's start let's start the trip off. Let me start by the trip or the beginning of the trip. Sorry. Um, so my plan was to fly to Miami, uh, go to La Zona Palooza. Um, I was invited by Sam and Rosie from Fine Ash Cigars, a uh, friend of the podcast. I did a podcast from their shop. Rudy used to work there. Um, they're a big Roma Craft account, big Patina account, and just down to earth, great, great, generous people. They got me an invitation. So I was going to fly into Miami and fly out of Miami. But then I'm like, hey, Mike and Mike, you guys are going to La Zona. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, what if we did a road trip? Because it's like a four and a half hour drive from Orlando from Deltona to uh, Miami. They're like, yeah, you can, you can ride down with me. Um, so like, I kind of tacked that on before the, before like a couple days. Were before. they, were they aware that you don't wear seatbelts? Um, Did they know the liability they were signing up for? I think so. Yeah. Okay. But for some reason, when I'm in somebody else's car, I, you, well, no, cause I didn't wear it in your car. So I don't know, but I do remember wearing it a lot. Uh, maybe cause yeah, I did wear it a lot. Um, so yeah, I flew into Orlando. BDP picked me up in the official cigar hustler vehicle. Uh, took me to Deltona. Um, I uh, bought some cigars, saw the studio, um, hung out with a guy named Boots. I think he was on the podcast, wasn't he? Was Boots on the podcast? No. Okay, so maybe I thought there was Boots, but Boots he does the. Uh, the shit show podcast with Chet and Palmer. Yeah. I've heard them talk about him. Yeah. I think I, for some reason I thought he was on there or maybe, no, he wasn't, but big D was, I met B, big D, but, but Danielle, but I think she didn't know who I was. Maybe it was awkward. It was really awkward actually. Cause not like BDP introduced us. Um, oh, did you say, Oh, what's up big D. And then she didn't know you, who you were. No, I just kind of said, Hey, what's up. And she's like, Hey, what's this? guy doing in the back room um yeah i don't know uh maybe she know maybe they told her who i was who i was afterwards that i don't know yeah 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 uh to be you. all right i wouldn't go that far but um where was i met the shit show yeah so i met boots met uh met danielle for the first time chet i've met before uh, another guy named discount doyle he's a 20 three-year-old land baron who never pays full retail for anything he has he lives by a starbucks rule where if you go to starbucks ask for 10 percent because nine times out of ten they'll give you a discount so he always asks for a discount he's super cheap is that a thing i just ask for a discount yeah he asked for a discount everywhere so i coined him the doyle i called him doyle discount discount doyle doyle rules uh, yeah, I forgot what they called him. They called him, uh, they had a different nickname for him. Um, and that, you know, I saw uh, Greg, um, Mike's brother, Cigar Hustler's brother. Uh, met him before the trade show and Weasel Fest. Uh, and then from there, we drove to Boca Raton and uh, went to a couple shops. I went to a one shop called Strikes that was really cool. The guy who worked in the humidor was like, like if I opened a shop, I want that guy to run my humidor. Like he is super professional, super outgoing, uh, good sense of humor, super nice. Uh, he used to be an actor. He lived out in Hollywood and was in like a hundred different, you know, I don't know, like commercials or little bit things or whatever. Um, yeah, fucking like. Yeah, he used to work at Casa de Monte Cristo down in Florida, but yeah, he wanted to he wanted to get, come back to his parents. Oh, sorry, excuse me, one second. He, yeah, so he moved back to Florida because he wanted a, a steadier income job. He was getting older, you know. He's like he's a fit guy, like you know, a good looking dude, and he you know was getting older, so he was afraid he's not going to get roles anymore and shit like that. And then he met his, uh, I think he's engaged to a waitress at Hooters. Um, he said, told us that and sounds like she makes good money doing that. But yeah, I mean, if I had a humidor, I want that guy to run the humidor. And then 
we stayed at a embassy suites hotel me bdp and hustler it's it's cool because it's a hotel you walk into and it's kind of like it's not like a regular hotel where it's like the how do i explain it if, if you stayed at embassy no not to my knowledge so it's kind of like um there's a big in the okay imagine a big square and then inside the square oh. there's like a um the rest a restaurant and like dining area and then around that are the hotel rooms so it's like i'm just seeing whoopi goldberg's face i can't explain it. it's like a it's like Hollywood a, squares but just one yeah it's like uh i can't like it um I can't explain it. It's not like a regular hotel where you go in and then you just go to your room. Like it's, it's like, if you ever stayed at the Luxor kind of like that, it's hard to explain. Maybe we can, I'll have to look up a picture of it, but it's just, it's, just, it's cool. It's like, I mean, they're like older hotels, but it was cool. It had a, and then it had a, uh, uh, two queen beds and a pull-out couch. And then luckily the pull-out couch area was like off to its side by itself. So you have know, like privacy and shit. So like I shut the door. The first thing I do is I, we get the hotel room. I turn the air conditioner down to 62. And then, uh, Whoa. yeah, it was like a meat locker. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll adjust myself. Um, and, uh, wait, but you were going to readjust it after it cooled down, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. So it was, uh, 62 degrees and, uh, I lay down and I don't have a blanket. All I have is a sheet. And then uh, I stole two pills from Mike and Mike, but Mikey uh, Hustler. So this is for now on, Mikey is Hustler, BDP is BDP. Mikey goes, he keeps calling my name. He's like, Tyler. I'm like, what? He's like, I love you. You know, like, fucking, I'm like, dude, I am so fucking tired. I, I had been up since I worked a double the night before. I woke up at 4 a.m. and then got to the packed and went to the airport. So, like, I was tired and he kept calling my name. So that was pretty funny. We, when we got up, got breakfast, and drove down to Miami. And uh, Salmon, uh, uh, or I mean, not Salmon Rosie. Rosie was concerned that I wasn't going to make it to, uh, because the Boca, staying in Boca kind of wasn't the plan originally. It was to go straight to Miami, but they wanted to visit a couple shops in Boca Raton. And then we hung out with the man, the myth, the legend, John Hackman, somebody that Mikey's known since like third grade fucking legend i posted a picture of him passed out at a cigar lounge he was super hammered um but uh going back oh, no, so let me backtrack going back to your original question about what can i compare yeah we still to, i just wanted to hear about la palooza well i wanted to talk about our sponsors and their beautiful shop and their in their beautiful facility um and sponsors to be sponsors to be if we yes. can ever get this thing done um Lazona Palooza, I would, it's, I mean, if, you can't compare it to Weasel Fest because Weasel Fest was uh, totally different. It was, it was like Lazona Palooza is invite only. It doesn't cost you anything. They sell stuff there. Like uh, I bought a cooler lunchbox, but I left it down there and they, they sold like cigars you can only get at Lazona Palooza. Um, or Weasel Fest, there was a, um, uh anybody could go you know and then they would sell the tickets um but i mean you can't really compare it to anything um it was fucking okay, dope, you know i didn't know it was invite only yeah it's invite only hmm. so you have to like post a lot of espinoza and smoke a lot of espinoza and uh it's not even really for like shop owners like um Sam and Rosie got invited because they had a cigar made by them for the fine ash, the barber pole that made the top 10. Um, yeah. So they just have this big party at the warehouse. They, the, I missed the first day, but, um, Friday, uh, got there about noon, um, uh, you know, with Mike and Mike. And then we, uh, had lunch. They had this big, uh, like kind of like a boil thing with, with rice and pork and corn and shit like that. And then they did uh, um, a lot of music, a lot of, it was just hanging out, you know, that's the thing, like, like Eric's always 
Espinosa, Eric Espinosa is always worried about like, how do you entertain people? How do you entertain people? We're smokers. We're easy. Put us in a room with air conditioning and cigars and we'll hang out all day. You know, that's what it will. There's a big giant hearth, you know, we're not like, we don't need to be throwing battle axes or. Whose idea was your haircut? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. The Let's lining bus the, line up. The elephant in the room. Um, they had a barber there. So, and the, the barber was cutting all these haircuts. I'm like, what should I get? You know? So we're like Mike and Mike and Sam and Rosie and Tyler from Espinosa. We're all like debating. And I finally say, I'm like, what if I just got the hustler? So we went in there and uh, Mikey showed him the haircut. He's like, all right, I got it. So like six hours later, the waiting, waiting was insane. He did cut my hair like that, but I had no product. So like the next day at the Guy Fury event, Guy Fury, how the fuck, uh, I had a hat on. You're like, oh, you're not showing your hair. I'm like, I had no hair product. It was going to look flat and gross. So, but people like it. I don't, I'm not sold on it. (laughs) Yeah. And then, so then, uh, Saturday we. Uh, so th- yeah, Thursday, Friday was a hanging out at Espinosa warehouse where the, they do the shipping, receiving all that jazz. And then Saturday was, we're meeting at a park with guy and, uh, it was like, be there at six. So, you know, Eric's like, guys, go, there's a million shops. You can go to, um, you know, like all the little factories, you know, there's all these places to go. So that's when I, I, uh, hit up my buddy um i've known him since third grade and we got uh he moved to miami in 2016 i haven't seen him probably since 2014 or some shit but we, we were good friends since from third grade on to high school and then uh, he picked me up at the hotel and we went and got lunch and then i went and met uh terrence and some other guys dojo at a, a lounge and uh me and terrence squashed our beef he bought me a rare it's a rare leaf. I, I gave him a Neanderthal LH. He smoked that in like 45 minutes. I, I don't know how he was able to walk out of there. And then uh, I uh, rode with Sam and Rosie to the this park. And uh, dude, it was fucking dope, man. The food they had, uh, they had barbecue and then they had a pig roast. Now I filled up on barbecue. Big mistake. Because um, I tried some of that pork and rice and it was fucking phenomenal. And then, you know, a uh, guy came in like a rock star. He came in with like Abe, Honest Abe from Smoke In and uh, came in on a go- uh, golf cart and people swarmed him, even though Eric said, don't swarm him. Everybody swarmed him. <laughs> and then he stood and signed shit and took pictures of everybody. Um, if you haven't tried the Espinosa knuckle sandwich, I think you're worth trying. The Habano is amazing. Um, the Madero is good, but I really like the Habano. Um, Hector, the blender, isn't a big Habano guy, but he did a really good job with that. Yeah. Then we just hung out playing music. Cool. Yeah. Uh, one last thing I thought was funny. Uh, Jack, Jack Taranio took a picture with me and him and sent it to Skip saying like, oh, uh, Tyler switched sides. He's Team Espinosa now. And Skip's like, all right, you can have him for 24 cellophanes and an empty beer can. Hmm. So I, I was expecting a little more from the trade. Um, but then I think, I also, I think uh, Richie Riot, Richie or- Ortero, I think he got trade. He's in the trade too. So I could, I feel better that it was a... One for one. Know, yeah. So... Yeah, so that was my first time in Miami. Miami's dope and beautiful. And I was in San Diego for Buddy's bachelor party. I Where stopped. Oh, uh, <laughs> went okay. It's my first bachelor party. So did you really get? Did you guys really have the Tijuana and you got arrested? No, I mentioned that when he got off the plane because he didn't know any of the plan. So I dropped that joke a few times. Then it got the old. donkey show in Tijuana. No, not I just said like we're kidnapping you, taking you down to TJ. Uh, but I stopped at Churchill Cigar Lounge. I think he said they're the biggest or one of the biggest Roma 
um, sellers in California. Oh. He told me that when I picked up a few. They were having an event, HVC event that night. And I said, dude, I would have loved to be here, but I can't. I have responsibilities. Was Rainier there? I think it was going to be his first time in California. Was it going to be at that event? Okay. This is at least what he was telling me. Oh, and I've seen the guy before who was there. Uh, I saw him at the Romacraft party, the last one at um, IPCPR at the time. The but owner of the shop or the manager? I think he's the owner, but I'm not sure. I didn't want to say, oh, yeah, I've seen you at the show before. Because the only reason I recognized him was he looks like, uh, I don't know his ethnicity, but he looks like a Persian version of Danny, if that makes any sense. Ooh. But yeah. That's it. There's no no okay other. Reason. Well, it's just no other stories. I'm not into the whole going crazy and going out clubbing. It's not my scene. I can hang more than the the rest, you know. It's near the end of Pirate Month, I'm nothing can phase me. We need to do a poll. Who would you rather hang out with, Dom or Tyler? <laughs> I'm curious to see, because you sound like a. Uh, a, a wet blanket well okay i feel like a wet blanket i'm tired but my favorite thing to do is to just go hang out at the lounge with people what do you Sunny, do what do you do do you go up and go axe throwing is that no I, w- I would i activity? might take the person to an escape room okay I'd, i've never been to one of those no that sounds horrible too I was gonna say if you invite me to, to throw axes or go to a escape room, I, I am out. Dude, I'd I'd be down to throw axes. I've never tried that. I mean, I've done you, it at a campsite, but then well, we got in trouble because obviously you shouldn't do it to a real tree or a living tree. I get it, makes sense. Especially like an old redwood. Then the axe had broke off. Another one. That probably happened before we got in trouble for it. I don't know. Did you get to smoke a lot in San Diego or no? None. Damn, homie. Because he's the guy, the uh, Bachelor's a big hookah fan. Hookah brother up. So we did that. He's Now he was saying like he wanted to do cigars, but initially he wanted Cuban short filler. And I was like, dude, Why I Why do you pick that out? Please no. I don't, because Cuban for the name, short filler because it was affordable. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then he said, Oh, let's just go around here to the lounge, pick some things up. Super down, but we had no time. His brother planned the whole thing out, and then there was like an itinerary, which we didn't stick to, but there was no free time. Good food? Okay, food. Yeah. Shrimp tacos? The tacos weren't great. I was really disappointed. We went to San Diego, and seemingly, I guess we had the worst tacos around. I had a lot of good Cuban food. Mm, a lot of pickles? No. Um, oh. Pork. Chick pollo. Yeah. I had a, I got Casamigos tequila from a bar, from a club, and it straight up tasted like lower shelf tequila. Ooh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that situation because you, you can't want- hear me say anything. Can I just accuse them? Plus, it was like 20 something dollars for the shot. I bought two. Yikes. Not fun. So you blew through your budget in two shots. Yeah. Yeah, we went to a cigar bar and the, and the drinks were not very good. Um, I met up with uh, Tom Z. I don't know how to say his last name. Used to be like the president of Nickel City Cigar. Used to be in our Call of Duty clan. Oh. He now works for Jewish State. So we moved from Michigan to Miami and uh, she, I wanted something fruity and girly cause I don't like bourbon and other shit, but I was, it was a bar cigar bar. And it's like, I really just want tap water, but you feel like you have to order something that's not free. So I'm like pina colada. Or I said, I'm like, what kind of non-alcoholic She's Like we got juice. I'm like, Guys, you need to have Arnold Palmer, uh, zero, zero calories, and it goes perfect with a cigar. And then she's like, well, we got this rum. And I'm like, yeah, give me something with rum. And and then, like, 
they're like, dude, you're not drinking your drink. I'm like, yeah, it's not very good. And the waitress comes and she's like, how's your drink? I'm like, it's um uh, interesting. Hmm. And uh, my buddy Tom's like, yep, that's the Midwest way of saying it, it sucks. It's interesting. You know, Midwest nice. Yeah. And then I bought a saber tooth um, just because I wanted one for like my collection. It was $18. And Florida doesn't have like a tobacco tax. So they just bumped it up because of nice. uh, and it was behind the counter. I, I didn't want to be the guy who asked how much something costs before I buy it. Yeah, I'll take the saber tooth. But I should have known. I should have known, yeah, when the rare pinks were $90, that maybe I should. <gasps> yeah, maybe I should see how much this uh, saber tooth cost. Hey, back to water. Mm -hmm. What's Is this like a new trend where companies are writing the pH level on the water? Was that I've just a San Diego that. thing? Like every water brand that was listing the pH. Sounds like liberal uh, California hipster. Well, you're you're picky with water, right? Because you don't like to drink a lot of it. Yeah, I go to uh, like when I would you say need to live. Fiji. Hmm. But even then, I'll I still add like miho miho or whatever in it. It's an emergency. Yeah, that too. Um. Oh, I tried the new Tatawahe La Riqueza. That was really Ooh. good. I'm trying good? to yeah, I'm trying to order a box from Small Batch. Uh, I got a box sitting for me at Michael's, but I want another box. But I forgot my discount code for VIP, mm. so I texted Andrew, and he has not gotten back to me yet. I have problems with my email, where sometimes I can't email. My emails don't go through when I send it through my phone. Let me see if he answered. I'm sure that box is already sold out. Just, just chuck code below that. Can't talk. Just call next time. Yeah, oh, there it was. Call Mike or something. Oh yeah. Damn it. Yeah, Lower Case is really good. So if you 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 sell Tatawahe, right? Yeah, we we got it in before I think last week, but I was gonna let it sit in the humidor a little bit before trying one. They didn't sell out right away. I saw them the day we had them, and I checked the stock, and I would be surprised if they're sold out by Wednesday okay got a got a few oh i found some at the shop in san diego got some t110s habano oh i haven't seen those anywhere for a while habanos were the harder one to get i know i was excited and that was like the cheapest cigar i picked up too strong for me mm, the habano all the t110s i sold wow. all my boxes hmm well, it's been a while. I'm going to see if it's come down. I don't think the first one I tried was too strong. I think I had the Sumatra. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm smoking so. the um, Manzanita Southern Draw right now. Where'd you get that from? San Diego. Those are fucking expensive. The ICS guys are really, uh, her group had this as one of the favorites from last year. And I never the, tried one. The uh, the aroma off the, the, when you smell it before you cut it is like, the best smell ever. My first puff was pretty awesome. Then the wrapper cracks could be from transportation. <clears throat> you had any topics or anything? Or any questions about um, Lazona or Miami? Well, I was hoping for like the rundown on uh, Lazona Palooza. I got that and like a whole backstory of your life. Yeah. So that was great. You're welcome. Uh, you're going on a, well, that was before we started. You're going on a date somewhere this week. Yeah, that wasn't podcast. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm going to see uh, Bon Iver. Yeah. Uh, bon Iver, however you want to say it. He, Justin Werner, the lead singer, founder of the band, says he doesn't care how you say it. Just listen to his music. Illusion, um, illusione. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to this concert on Friday. It's uh yeah, I like I, I dig it. He's from fucking Florida, man. I mean Florida, Wisconsin. <laughs> He's from nice. Wisconsin. Uh I got a question. So if you go to a go to an event like Lazona Palooza, do you how many pictures can you post from that event? Do you do do you save some for when you get home? Do you do like five pictures in one post? What's you the can correct do, protocol? All right, here we go. Did I overdo it? You can do 
one a day from the event two a day as long as like the nighttime scene is different from the daytime scene okay but if you don't post that day you have to do you can do max three wrap up like after the event uh only three wrap-up photos yeah so you got to be posting every day okay yeah I'll, I'll throw it like i think if you throw it in your story that's a whole nother you can do it unlimited basically if it's in your story unlimited oh. did i talk about uh lent last time oh, there's a guy at the shop lent? no lent not lent oh no what what's that, what happened the guy at the shop gave up cigars except for sundays and he still smokes pipes. Never mind. That was a bad topic. Um, <clears throat> home alone segment. This, I think I talked about the guy that was chased by a cow. No. No? No. This guy came, okay, I can't remember. This guy comes in, he's like, yo, I need a cigar. He's the usual. So I was just like, every day is a nice day for a cigar. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I got chased by a cow. And I tumbled and his legs all bloody. So yeah, don't go hiking and uh, where there are bovine around. Did you know bovine's the name for the type? Like a cow is a type of bovine. No, I didn't. Nice. You learned something. Yeah, I gotta, something. I gotta figure out a better angle here. It's the lighting. I just look, we're not on video. I know, but I look horrible. I don't want. Well, I feel. I'm, you're just comparing yourself to me because I'm like between one fern. Yeah, and you're moment. wearing a heavy coat. Well, it's raining over there. I'm slightly inside. On the edge of the door frame. Perfect spot. Ideal for earthquakes. Oh, yeah, I really didn't come up with topics because we're doing this a day early. Yeah, I don't... Um, I had a day off today, and I just wanted to get it done today or tomorrow. Who knows what... I have to work tomorrow, so we'll see. I have no idea how that will go. Um, I work uh, starting Sunday. I do overnights now. What does that mean? I work 10.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. Oh. I'm going to try it for a month. Uh, when you do come in to help with shipments, is there a time generally that happens? Um, ideally, it'd be like 9 to whenever it's finished, 9 a.m. But that was the problem. That's another reason why I'm like, this might work is yeah. A, I can pick up overtime before my shift, after my shift, or I can pick up um two shifts, work my shift, and then go work three shifts in a row. Like now working overnights, like it's easier to to get uh easier to work more. And there's a guy at work who'll pick up any of my overnight shifts that I want to get rid of. And then I can help out with shipments. Um, I thought I did Friday, Saturday off, but I guess I had Thursday, Friday off. I wanted to do it to get weekends off. And with all the flights we've added, it's it's gotten a lot like more stressful and uh, more intense. So it'll be a little, it'll be easier at night, obviously. And then uh, another reason I did it was a lot of my friends shift too. Mm. Um, last thing I heard around <clears throat> at the lounge. Uh, there's a group of two or three guys came in, haven't seen them before. And one of them was telling the other about Drew Estate being one of the top Cuban manufacturers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he really sounded like he knew what he was talking about. And at that point, I couldn't be like, no, you're objectively wrong, sir. He was, they bought cigars. It just hurt. I didn't know what to do. Thanks. Have we seen Batman yet? No. It's three hours. I want to, but when am I going to? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, because we're podcasting today. Maybe tomorrow I'll go see Batman. Yeah, so then it. speaking of Cigar Hustler, we uh, do like, you got to do an episode every week. And I'm like, we're paying, we're sponsoring you to do whatever. And I'm like, so then I got to change to the contract for 52 episodes. So we're not. We're, that makes sense. We're both, we're, yeah, we're su both super fucking busy people. Me more so than you. You, you do work more. Just yes. kidding. Um, you do. You have more of a normal life than I do. I just work and 
Dude, my HBO Max app never works anymore. I don't know how you reset this shit. Um, so when we do this poll, maybe we'll defend ourselves next time. Who would you rather oh, yeah. hang out more? Yeah, we need to have somebody like debating it. So you're gonna get people who want free Romacraft. That's gonna be their thing. They I'm just want to mooch off of you. I'm not handing out free cigars. That's what they, they're gonna think of. Oh, if I hang out with Tyler, he'll give me free cigars. No, it's gonna be. Do I want to get ridiculed, but laugh at the same time? Then you or be me. ridiculed on grammar. <laughs> yeah, or have you ridicule me on how to talk? Uh, I don't try not to do that. I'm working on it. All right. I really don't know if there's anything else. When's the last time you hacky sacked? Uh, this is that a real question? I wrote it down. I wasn't going to use it, but. Why did you see a hacky sack somewhere? I forget what made me think of it. Just like no one does it anymore. That was super popular. Just like high school during lunch, a group in the corner doing something. They're hacky sacking. Either that or drugs. <laughs> that or a circle jerk. Hacking their sacks. Hacking their sacks. Um, that was kind of popular with people older than me when I was growing up. Mm. It must have been. I don't know how you uh, got to uh, witness that because it seemed like that was, Maybe it was just already gone. Yeah, there was a guy with a Rubik's cube at the event. That's been going on for years now. I don't see the draw. Me either. Because these kids, my the students, they just memorize the the code to crack it and you just do it. It doesn't take any mental effort. I don't think. I would just peel the stickers off. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, what'd you think of the Will Smith thing? I was going to bed. I don't care. It's uh, not. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not interesting to me. Interesting. But then again, I also don't trust any television uh, reality show because it's all scripted. All of them are scripted. To some extent. Don't know where the line is between reality and... Yeah, Hollywood. You're going to have to do a better job of summarizing your experience after the trade show this year. Oh, because you won't be there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need you to take a notepad and write down three pros, three cons, coolest people around... And chooches acting like chumps. Something like an outline. All right. Um, yeah, what's his face? Uh, Alex hit me up about the hotel. I'm like, dude, it's fucking March. Uh, Tyler's on his phone, by the way. Anybody still fucking, listening? It's fucking March. <laughs> and uh, we have to. Uh, it's too It's too far in advance, man. What I'm trying to say. I might get summer school off, so I would hopefully have more time to work at the shop and podcast. So you can't come to Vegas for a night? Why would it come for a night? Oh, shit. It's expensive. I'd have to. Okay. Even if I got a flight covered, you can't stay in Vegas for a night. You'd have to not sleep, which is, I guess, normal. But then you ruin two days. I didn't contemplate it. All right. Fair enough. I don't think my fiance would want me just going out. For oh, I forgot. Now you got to ask for permission for everything now. Yeah. Fuck. I know. Is she going to have to join the podcast? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Cigar noise, boys and lady. Deborah. Deborah. Uh, Good talk. Yeah. How long did we go for? Uh. uh 40 minutes yeah quick and easy baby yeah i need a i'm gonna edit this get it up and then i'm gonna try to get do it that. up yeah try to do contract the, work on the contract okay. that's my There's something else i wanted to tell you about the contract but I forgot what it was all right if you remember give me a call because oh be... on the top right hand corner where it says cigar noise boys just put down your name so the check will be made out to you and then you can cash it and i thought you were gonna account. do it 
No, this have it. You have all the other money too, all the other sponsor money for our. What are we doing? Lighters or whatever we're doing? We haven't decided yet. Let's we'll keep it all in the pot. Okay. Your pot. I was looking up diecast cars oh, and airplanes. I couldn't really find anything good. So we can just print out our stickers and make some hot rods or a Southwest plane with a, <laughs> sorry, major US airline. Major US Air. <clears throat> oh, shit. You know what? Uh, Yogi, I, I checked uh, the mail today. I did not have the stick, the Visa Horny stickers in there. Hmm. I went to HQ and they they had a box from Rudy. I I bought a bundle of the Black Label Trading Company barber pole they did for the shop in Hawaii with the shark on there. Mm -hmm. But the stickers were not there. So let's not solidify plans for lighters, etc., until we actually land the sponsor. Yeah. Good point. If we go to edit number six, patients might be uh, thin. I don't know. Yeah, we're, I mean, I expect a little more out of you. You're a teacher, uh, but. I should be doing this during my breaks. I would be doing it at school. What else are you be doing? That's when you bring the TV in. Oh my God. Say, hey guys, I got a TV. We don't have TVs. We can't do that. Can't just put Bill and I on for grammar class. Well, magic school bus. No. All right. Fair. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get typing, get this legal work. Yeah, out of the way. Part-time lawyer, part-time lover, full-time teacher. Call me uh, what's that superhero? Oh man, I need to sleep. Uh, oh, no. call me, call me by your name. What? Huh? You you ever hear that movie? No. All right. uh, have you seen Lady Bird yet? No. Watch Lady Bird. I forgot what streaming it's on, but it takes place in Sacramento. It's a coming of age tale. I doesn't. I'll watch Batman. I've already come of age. Yeah, well, the movie came out like three years ago. Mm. But it's got it's old it's news. Sorcy Ronan or whatever. I think she won a, got nom- nominated for it. Oh yeah, uh, Mike. You need to watch Batman so we can have a debate with Mikey because Mikey hated it. Mm. But it's like, why would you bring your young kids to a three-hour movie? Where there's a, a serial killer, and yeah, he's like, it's too dark, it's too long. Spider Man's wearing or Batman's wearing boots. I'm like, dude, lighten up. Cowboy boots. Like it's an old western, and it's like it's like seven. There's a lot of seven vibes. Okay. So, all right, guys. Short episode this week. We'll try to get a guest on next week. Try to get our sponsorship solidified, and uh, maybe we ask some viewer questions. Oh, that yeah, should have done that to you. Yep. Mark and roll. Yeah.